Culver City wins the toss, elects to defer. Normans will receive the ball. QAC for the Normans, Walker and Dodashti. Kicking for Culver City, Lopez. Flag on the play. Encroachment on Culver City, five yard penalty, and that will be third down.
Run by number 23, Germans, for a first down. Pass completed to Luckett, first down, Culver. Caught by Ford for his Culver City touchdown. is no good.
lead that will pack the court. The touchdown is no time. Touchdown, Culver City.
Touchdown, Culver City.
Touchdown by Culver City, scored by Glaspie. Conversion cut by Lucio is good. for a game of four, second down Normans. on the play. <laughs> Encroachment on Culver City, that will be a five-yard penalty. And we will repeat second down.
Two point conversion, no good. But a huge shout out goes to Alex Freeman for scoring that touchdown! in the back on Culver City. The ball will be coming back. Walking back in Culver City will bring up first down at the 38 yard line.
Returned by the Normans out to the 40 yard line. Say 35. Flags on the play. Your attention, please. There's a person foul in Culver City. There will be a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down for the Normans. And it appears that it is targeted. Face. 
niggas in the face. I get it, how I live it. I live it, how I get it. I get it, how I get it. I'm not a shit nigga, it's just your ass get a city And this ain't a scrimmage, let the mother be a finish I told you we won't stop, you hit it by the business Not cares, but you win it, but the money to the top We boxing around, boxing around, boxing around, boxing around, boxing around, boxing For you Dodger fans out there, they are on top 1-2-0 in the top of the 8th inning. Start on the Normans, that will be a five yard penalty. for the Normans, first and ten from the city for Culver City. Accepted by the Normans by number seven, Rava. First and ten for the Normans from the 25 yard line.
pass incomplete by Norman. Brings up third down. Multiple flags on the play. And it is full start on the New Orleans. Five yard penalty. Repeat, third down.
First down, Clovis City. For those of you interested, the Dodgers are tied with the Red Sox, one to one, in the bottom of the eighth. There's a flag on the play. Kidding for Culver City, the ball will be going back. Hitting on Clover City. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you stick around for a very special halftime show.
Ladies and gentlemen, a special message from band director Bill Bradbury. Good evening. We would like to recognize our senior members of the Beverly Hills High School Marching Band. When your name is called, please step forward. We begin with Dean Becker. Jude Binkley. Bridget Carter. Savannah Cerizo. Ryan Chung. Tiffany Chu. Yosef Hassan. Hime Kano. Maxwell Kim. Eugene Lee. Song Chen Lion Lee. Willie Magnan. Rebecca Julie Park. Raul Ramirez. Ming Kyu Song. Sam Stahl. Jimmy Wallet. And one of our seniors from uh, the Beverly Hills High School color guard, Nicole Yap. Welcome, Norman Nation, to tonight's performance of The Sound of the Norman Nation. The Beverly Hills High School Marching Band and Caller Guard, under the direction of Mr. Bradbury, led by Assistant Drum Majors Ryan Chung and Marianne Hahn, and Drum Major Julie Park. The band is also joined by BHH as Caller Guard and Major Alexis Tracy. This evening, the band takes us back 50 years to 1968, a year of social change, loss of political leaders, and technological advancements. The same year, the Boeing 747 took flight, and someone could buy the new McDonald's Big Mac for 49 cents, and some also enjoyed unforgettable music. The British band, The Beatles, were rising in popularity with their hit, Lady Madonna, written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney, was released the same year. A rhythm and blues inspired song tells the story of a working class woman facing the challenges of life each day. Enjoy the band's performance opening with another Beatles hit, The Magical Mystery Tour.
Sometimes described as one of the first heavy metal rock songs, Born to be Wild was released in 1968 by the group Steppenwolf. Sorry, Steppenwolf. The song's rhythmic energy was regarded by both the popular and counterculture depicted the biker image and attitude. The BHHS cheerleaders joined the band with their routine to Born to be Wild. In the same year, Marvin Gaye rewrote his song Renton in 1966 and added a unique feel and groove to what became an R&B hit at the end of 1968. The song's popularity gathered the interest of Motown Records founder Barry Gordy, who along with numerous DJs gave the song the attention it deserved. Enjoy I Heard It Through the Grapevine. We hope you've enjoyed this musical step back in time. Please give the Beverly Hills High School Band 
Victoria Guard and cheer another round of applause. Enjoy the second half of the game and game moments!
kickoff return by number 19, Pete, for Culver City. Touchdown, center.
That will be a turnover on down. Cover City will take over on the 43 yard line. The ruling on the field is that Cover City was down before the fumble. That will bring up second down for Culver City. First and goal for Culver City. That will be a touchdown for Culver City. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to stay after the game for a drum battle between the Beverly Hills Mormons and Culver City Centaurs. That is the end of the third quarter.
There is a flag on the play. Face mask on Culver City. Fire penalty. Repeat first down. That will be a first down for the Newmans. Turnover on downs. For you Dodger fans out there, they have gone to extra innings at one apiece.
Encroachment on the Normans, five yard penalty. Repeat first down. Touchdown, Culver City.
And that will conclude tonight's game. Your final score, Kansas 60. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please stay to witness a drum battle between the Beverly Hills Norman's Marching Band and the Culver City Centaur Marching Band. Thank you and have a good evening.